Hey guys, I'm Michael. It's my first ever vlog post, so hopefully it goes pretty well. Um, I also write a blog. I'm going to hopefully get a link at the bottom of this page. Um, but yeah, I've been writing a while, so I finally wanted to just put out a video and see how it went. So, enough with introductions. Let's start talking about some sports. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about the first NFL game uh, that happened yesterday, Denver versus Baltimore. If you're a Denver fan, you're very happy with this. Baltimore, there could be a lot to be improved. Baltimore lost a lot of players last year, as everyone knows. Ray Lewis, Ed Reed, uh, Anquan Bolden. And then after winning the Super Bowl, that's a big hit to take. But um, they did sign Joe Flacco for a lot of money, which I believe is going to be the cornerstone of the franchise for years to come. However, did not show up like that last night. Uh, he had a okay game, not an awful game, not a great game, but it wasn't enough. And I don't know if it's the pressure of the big contract that he got that was affecting the way he played, but hopefully he gets over that and starts playing a little better so his team won't have the Super Bowl slump. Denver, on the other hand, looked very, very good, especially offensively. With Peyton Manning throwing seven uh, touchdowns, two to new tight end Julian Thomas and two to Demarius Thomas, um, he looked really, really good, like time back in Indianapolis. Um, I definitely expect Denver to be a very good offensive team. Defensively, they looked okay. They gave a lot of, they gave a decent amount of points because they did lose Vaughn Miller this year, or for some games due to suspension. Also, can't forget Wes Welker made his debut. Um, and let me see what his exact stats were because I cannot remember at the current moment. NFL, let's see. What? Here we go. Wes Welker. Wes Walker had nine catches, uh, 67 yards, and two TDs. I don't know how I forgot that. I stopped watching the game a little bit, um, being, call being in college and all, all that homework. But um, I definitely think Denver is going to be a very good team offensively. Defensively, they do have some answers or some questions that need to be answered there because Baltimore is not an amazing offensive team, even though they have Ray Rice, Joe Flacco, Torrey Smith. They're not as dangerous as they were last year with like a Bolden and stuff like that, and Ed Dixon um, in the Dennis Pitta. So we'll see what happens there, but I definitely think Denver's going to be a good team. Baltimore, a lot more questions to be answered, but I think they'll still be a fairly decent team this year. Next, got to talk about my uh, hometown team, the Indianapolis Colts, and the Oakland Raiders this weekend play on Sunday. Um, Colts, very impressive season last year with uh, everything they went through with new quarterback and everything and the coaching situation. But, um, some people are saying that this team this year is a better team but may not win more games. I'd have to disagree with that. I think they'll either win the same amount of games or maybe maybe one or two more. Um, you got Andrew Luck's got another year under his belt. They brought in free agents like Darius Hayward Bay, Ahmad Bradshaw, um, Greg Toller on the defense, Laron Landry on the defense. And um, they brought in um, Pep Hamilton from Stanford, who was Andrew Luck's offensive coordinator there, so I think that should help too get like the tight end, the big tight end sets in there with Dwayne Allen and Kobe Fleener. Um, I think they're going to be a pretty good team. We'll see how they show up. Oakland, on the other hand, way, 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 way too many questions. Um, they're actually starting Terrell Pryor. Uh, if you, if the name sounds familiar, he played for Ohio State way back when, uh, and then he got in trouble with the tattoos from memorabilia, and um, that's what got Jim Trestle fired and everything like that. But uh, they, he's. We'll see how he plays. Nobody's seen him in a while, so we'll see what happens there. We all know Darren McFadden. He's been injured um, a lot since being in the NFL, and he said that this year is going to be his redemption year. So we'll see what that means. Hopefully, he plays well because I do have him on my fantasy team, but not too well. Still want the Colts to win. Uh, they should. I think the Colts should probably win pretty handily. About I'm guessing about 35-17. That's my prediction. The next big football game coming up this weekend is uh, Notre Dame versus Michigan. It's uh, at Ann Arbor, and it's a night game. It's going to be the last one of these games that they're going to have for a while because of Notre Dame's ACC and adding Texas to the schedule. Um, I think it's got the potential to be a, another great game. I think it'll be a good one to end it off with. Both teams being ranked in the top 25, both having pretty convincing wins last week. Um, I was not personally able to catch Michigan's game, but they did 
destroy the team they played, which should be expected. And um, Notre Dame played fairly well against Temple in spurts like they did last year. Hopefully, they'll, if, if Notre Dame wants to win this game in Ann Arbor, they'll need to be able to put a consistent um, product out there. They can't be like having drives where they're just not showing up. So hopefully, they'll be this last game will be a good one. I don't want to see a blowout either or. So um, my prediction, I think Notre Dame will win. And whenever I think Notre Dame will beat Michigan, they don't. So I'm going to guess Michigan 21-17. And last but not least, I'm going to touch up on a little bit of soccer for all my soccer fans out there. United States plays Costa Rica tonight in a World Cup qualifier. Uh, currently, United States is on the longest active win streak of any international club. I believe they're at, let me make sure I get this right. I believe they're at 13, but I'm just going to check to make sure. Let's see. Yep, or they're looking for the 13th straight win, which would be um, is the longest in the world right now. They've been looking very impressive. Landon Donovan's been playing well. Josie Alpador. Like, all the people, they've always had a decent, their back line's a little weak. They've always had a great midfield with, like, Donovan, Dempsey, Bradley, Jermaine Jones. And their strikers are now starting to play better. So, yeah, the strikers are playing better. The midfield's playing better. The back four's improving. But I think Costa Rica, They sh I think they should be able to beat them. Um, if all, because for different things, different players play. If it's the full roster that we have, I think we should be able to win this game. I'm guessing about uh, – I'm going to guess a shutout here. I'm going to guess 2-0 United States over Costa Rica. Okay, so that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching, and um, hopefully I'll be able to put a link down below with a link to my blog so you can check out some of the other posts I have. Thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, it would be awesome. Thanks. Have a great weekend.